Hi folks, thanks for tuning in to our video. I'm James with Plant Chicago. Here's a look ahead. In this episode, we're talking about bugs. In particular, a common native species of fly called the black soldier fly, scientific name Hermetia elucens. Now you might be asking, what does a fly have to do with food production? That's a great question. Let me back up. Here at Plant Chicago, we're always looking to enhance the sustainability of food production. As you may know, we operate several aquaponics systems in our indoor demonstration farm located in the basement of the plant. If you don't know what aquaponics is, check out this video we made called What is Aquaponics? It'll give you the basics. One of the reasons that we like aquaponics here at the plant is that it is a closed loop food production system. In other words, it's sustainable food production where the fish do all the work of providing nutrients for our plants to grow, and in turn, the plants help filter the water for the fish. Fish feed is the primary and practically the only input into an aquaponics system, and there lies an opportunity to close yet another loop. You see, commercially produced fish feed, which comes in the form of pellets and looks a lot like dried dog food, contains a substantial amount of fish meal and fish oil, which is produced from the harvest of small open ocean fish such as anchovies, mackerel, and sardines. In other words, wild species of fish have to be caught and then transported to facilities to be processed into fish meal and fish oil. Transported again to factories, they then use these products to manufacture feed pellets, then packaged and finally shipped out for consumption in aquaculture farms. This video from the International Fish Meal and Fish Oil Organization does a great job of illustrating the supply chain. Now here at the plant, we like to use waste from one process as an input into another process. That's what we mean by closing loops. We want to reduce or eliminate our dependence on commercial fish feed because that is an input that requires a substantial amount of energy and resources from outside of the plant. How might we accomplish this? Bugs. Which brings us full circle to the black soldier fly. This native species of fly is virtually harmless to humans and wildlife, does not spread disease, and cannot bite or sting. In fact, it has no mouth. What? The final larval stage, called the prepupae, and the adult do not have mouth parts. The adult's only purpose is to mate and lay eggs. <laughs> The larval stage of the black soldier fly is a voracious eater and is excellent for the bioconversion of organic waste material. What does that mean? Well, it consumes upwards of two times its own body weight every day and can compost or even sanitize any and all types of organic waste, including food waste from plant and animal origins and even fresh animal manure. What? So we can take food scraps, spent grain from the brewery, and other organic waste from food businesses in other parts of our building, as well as unused plant material or even chicken manure from our own farms and other farm businesses businesses here at the plant and turn it into these wriggling black soldier fly grubs. And there are many uses for the grubs. They're actually edible to humans, though we're not quite ready for that one. But we are interested in their use as a replacement for our fish feed. They're high in protein and fat, which is perfect for our fish. So food waste goes in and fish food comes out. Pretty cool, huh? If you're interested in seeing us take on this project to close waste loops and generate fish feed on site by diverting organic waste from landfills, let us know in the comments below. While you're at it, give us a thumbs up, share this video with your bug loving friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. If you're feeling particularly inspired by the bugs, visit our website's donation page and contribute whatever you can. We really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.